Hey guys, Brian here. Today I wanted to show you this little white box that I've got connected to my Lulzbot Mini. It's a Raspberry Pi, a small computer with Octoprint installed on it. Octoprint is a software that allows me to connect to it via web browser and schedule prints remotely. So now I no longer have to have a dedicated laptop hooked up to the printer. In other words, I replaced the laptop with a smaller Raspberry Pi computer. So, let me show you how I did it. First, we'll need to prepare a micro SD card with Octoprint on it. So, grab a micro SD card and adapter and hook it up to your PC. I used a 4 gigabyte card with a low speed rating and it seemed to work. Not recommended, but it worked. Next, go to the Octoprint site and download Octopi. Check out the instructions and review the great video that Thomas made about installing it. There are many ways to flash a micro SD card with Octopi. In this case, I installed Etcher and simply drag the zip file to the Etcher UI and press flash. Next, before we take out the SD card, we need to configure our wireless network by editing Octopi network.txt. Scroll down until you find the section relevant to your home network. It's probably the same thing that I have here. And uncomment the three lines by removing the uh, pound signs. And then change your Wi-Fi SSID and your password here. Make sure to get this right because we're not going to hook up a monitor to the Raspberry Pi. All right, we're done with all that nasty software stuff. We can eject the micro SD card from our adapter and plug it into the Raspberry Pi on the underside. And next we're going to do some 3D printing for the case designed by the Elephant Man. Okay, so now we've got the bottom, the top, and a bunch of different screws, different sizes, three different sizes. Here are some longer 22 millimeter, 3 millimeter by 22 millimeters. Next up, we've got 3 millimeter by 10, and some finally 2 millimeter by 12. So first we're going to put the Pi into the bottom and then we're going to use the smaller screws the 2 millimeter by 12 millimeter and screw them in. Next we're going to put the top on and we're going to use the longest ones the 3 millimeter by 22 millimeter screws to connect the top and the bottom halves. The final four screws are for attaching the whole thing to the printer. So, we're going to have to wait for that one when we get to the printer. And there you have it. Let's go to the printer and install this. Here's the Raspberry Pi case mounted on the left hand side of the Lulzbot Mini above the power button. And I've already screwed it in using 
four holes on the side. Actually I only put three screws in and what I did was I just held the case against these holes and I used some pliers with the screws on and I inserted them and tightened them. One hole is behind this cable protector so it's a little hard to get to but with these tweezers or pliers it's easy to get in there. The other fourth hole it was behind the wires and I just couldn't get in there but three enough should work right? Even two would be good enough. Okay now you can attach the cables. The cable back here this is to the front of the Lulzbot Mini for the USB connection. Instead of connecting the Lulzbot Mini to your laptop printer, you now connect it to the Raspberry Pi. And finally, here's the USB power cable. I simply used a phone charger and its micro USB cable. And you just put it in the top here to power on the unit. And that's all there is to it. Okay, now let's use this thing. First, load up a 3D model in your favorite slicer. Here I'm using Lulzbot Cura Edition, just as I normally would. But now I'm going to save this as a G-code file rather than printing it, since I'm actually not connected to the printer here. So once we've got the G-code file, we can go to the Octoprint server. I found my IP address to be 38. Check your router's admin page. Load up the G-code file, upload it, and then just click the print button and that's all you've got to do. So let's see what my first print on Octoprint is. All right, let's check out the Octoprint print. This is a AA battery holder. And I actually just took this off the bed and I didn't have to clean anything up, which is great. No stray pieces of filament sticking out. And on the left here is the one that I printed uh, before I had Octoprint with a laptop connected straight to it. Looks fine. And to nobody's surprise, these should be the same. They were the same G-code, except one was emitted over the USB cable straight to the printer, and the other one was sent remotely to the Octoprint server running on Raspberry Pi and attached to the side of my printer. So now this yellow one is going to be for batteries that need charging, and the green one is going to be for the freshly charged ones. Well, looks like it went well. Hope this guide helps you out with your Lulzbot Mini. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.